Maharashtra, a land acknowledged for its strategic and geographical importance throughout history, rich in natural and man-made resources. Maharashtra is the second largest and the most urbanized state in India. A young state with a high literacy rate of 77% and the rising per capita income ensures an ever-increasing spending power. This makes Maharashtra a powerful magnet, attracting people from all over with the promise of opportunity. With the highest share of India's gross domestic product, Maharashtra boasts of an impressive annual economic growth rate. With the largest number of factories in the country, Maharashtra is the most industrialized state with the highest productivity. A factory in Maharashtra produces 37% more output and adds 51% more value than any other factory in India. Maharashtra has a bouquet of other advantages apart from its celebrated productivity. It has outstanding infrastructure and has always led on the infrastructural front from amongst the other states in India. Maharashtra has excellent road and rail networks, international and domestic airports and international seaports that handle a majority of the country's sea trade, adequate power supply, abundant water, Modern commercial and residential facilities give an added advantage to corporates and its workforce alike. Attracting the largest quantum of investments, both domestic and foreign, Maharashtra is India's economic growth engine. Over time, Maharashtra has been in the lead in industrial development of the country and as a result, its workforce has outstanding skills and outstanding knowledge. Affluence in Maharashtra has also helped make this workforce one of the most literate and educated in the country. As a result, we at Mahindra always use our factories in Maharashtra to manufacture our export products and our new cutting-edge products because we find that the workforce here has an ability to make these products better than anywhere else in the country. A sound educational system of international standard churns out skilled and trained manpower, which gives Maharashtra some critical advantages. Superior healthcare services all over the state ensure healthy and productive workforce. Maharashtra's reliable communication network and a growing internet user population have helped businesses flourish. All these advantages combine to propel Maharashtra forward as the wealth generator of the country. Maharashtra has been the most mature industrial state in the, in the country. It has seen more industrial activity for the greatest period of time and therefore has the, the highest level of industrial infrastructure, both in terms of physical assets as also in terms, importantly, of trained manpower. Maharashtra is not only the economic driver of the country but also the financial, industrial, services and logistics hub. Mumbai, the capital of Maharashtra, is also the financial capital of India. Two of the largest stock exchanges in the world are located in the city. Poised to be the megapolis of tomorrow, it houses the headquarters of almost all major banks and financial service providers. The financial markets in India are now the best in Asia and I believe again in the next decade or so Mumbai as a financial capital will be one of the four financial centers in the world. Pune, another fast-growing city closer to Mumbai, is emerging as the service headquarters for the nation with its well-defined R&D, IT and ITES and biotech sectors. Other two emerging cities that have attracted the investor's attention are Nasik and Aurangabad. Mumbai, Pune, Aurangabad and Nasik are being developed as the golden quadrangle of Indian industry. Lying at the geographical centre of India, Nagpur's strategic importance has turned the city into a logistic hub. With the highest FDI inflows and highest corporate investments in diverse industries like engineering, electronics, automobiles, petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, textiles and many more being set up here, 
Undoubtedly, Maharashtra is the number one investment destination in the country. Location decisions are driven by a matrix. You have a range of points that are clearly very important. Access to markets, inbound, outbound logistics, labor relations, availability of manpower, suppliers and all that. And it's the combination of all these factors in addition to the fact that you have proactive policies and also investment support uh, that drives the decision towards one state in India rather than another. And for us, uh, Maharashtra and Pune in particular was clearly the number one. High net worth investors have preferred Maharashtra because of the implementation of the mega project policy offering customized packages and single window clearance. We, Siemens, have been in India since many decades and have a very strong presence across the country. More than 15,000 employees, 17 factories, and eight of them are located here in the state of Maharashtra. Seeing the investor-friendly approach of the Maharashtra government, we have made substantial investments in factories, technology and R&D centers, offices. To give you just one example for our new factory, our transformer factory, we have got all the approvals in a record time of 28 days under a single window case. Therefore, my experience here in the state of Maharashtra has been extremely positive and we will definitely make further investments in the state to support our growth plans. Special economic zones in identified thrust areas are being developed at various locations in Maharashtra. Going forward, the goal by 2010 is to attain an economic growth rate of 14%. The vision is to develop Maharashtra as Asia's most competitive manufacturing and services hub with Mumbai becoming amongst the world's top five financial centers. And the state is well on its way to realize this vision. Lots of multinationals are coming already. You have GM coming, you have uh, Volkswagen coming, you have uh, ITEC who's going to set up base over here. Fiat just invested. We have Microsoft, as far as I know, they want to invest 150 million. Uh, in the state, we have, uh, I think, IBM, who wants to build up uh, a major, uh, uh, how to say, IT hub here in Pune. Uh, so a lot of activities are happening, and that clearly proves the point that Maharashtra is a good location for investment in India. Maharashtra is a gold mine of opportunities, a land of infinite possibilities. And it is this land of the future which welcomes you with arms wide open.